Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film these weekly Solo Trip Podcasts. We're talking about, or podcast episodes, we're talking about all things spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. So last week I didn't film a video. I just needed to take a bit of a break from kind of being public and like being on social media you know even though we are in lockdown and we're kind of being forced to take a break I felt like I needed to just take a day or two to step away from posting so much because I do post so fucking much on so many accounts and it can get a little bit exhausting and a bit overwhelming so so over the last few weeks but especially this week I have been having huge huge revelations that literally I feel like I've just almost like jumped a timeline or something and just stepped into a whole new world a whole new reality because I've been having so many internal revelations about my own beliefs and like the because our beliefs then dictate the actions that we take so then also the actions and like the things that I do in my life and reality kind of thing so I've had huge revelations and I felt like this is a good topic to talk about because I mean we all kind of deal with the idea of needing to work hard and stuff like that but then once you internalize the fact that our mind creates our reality it's a game changer but for me I didn't realize I hadn't internalized it fully like I know what that phrase means I know um, like the context when people explain it and when I watch spiritual teachers talk about it and stuff I understand what they're saying and I understand exactly how our mind can create our reality but I never realized how I hadn't actually put that into practice in my own life like if our mind really does create our reality then what does that mean about your own life and the things that you're experiencing you know so like I hadn't kind of connected the two maybe out of fear because it's kind of terrifying to think that your world is created by your thoughts and by yourself you know and your vibration so even though I understood it I hadn't actually fully implemented it or like you know what I mean so yeah we're going to talk about this whole revelation and process of how I've come to understand it and for me it kind of started around career because that is something that I'm doing a lot I'm not in a relationship I'm single so like relationships are not really the forefront of my mind at the minute but my career and making music and wanting to transition away from working a normal job and doing this full time that is like a huge thing for me and something that's really at the forefront of my focus especially now in lockdown because like everyone in the house is all home and stuff so like a lot of our circumstances and the things that we do on a daily basis is being brought to our attention because now we literally have no choice you know we're having to face it so for me I was trying to uncover my beliefs around working hard and not just working hard but like success and money I wanted to understand my beliefs around money because at the end of the day if our mind does recreate our reality then that means that our beliefs create our reality because beliefs are repeated thoughts so if that's what creates our reality then we obviously need to be aware of what ones we even hold to know whether they need to be changed or whether they're good and we want to like utilize them and harness them even more you know so I wanted to know what ones I held and I do kind of feel like in the society right now the main belief around um, when you have like a dream goal or you want to achieve something the main thing that people tend to say even the most successful people the like phrase they always say is you need to work hard like it takes work it takes hard work you know and I think I kind of took on this belief system that it means you need to struggle, it means you need to burn yourself into the ground, it means you need to work so hard that you can't ever rest. So I realised that I was feeling guilty if I ever took any time to rest. I wouldn't prioritise self-care, I wouldn't let myself work out. Sometimes I wouldn't even let myself eat, like it's to the point where I wasn't meal prepping or anything, so I would just forget to eat because I'd be so focused on what I was doing. And it's not just about normal normal work like nine to five job or whatever I was doing it in both 
the part-time job that I have and then also my music like I've realized I literally was doing the same kind of belief patterns the same actions the same system around everything that I was doing and it's really crazy when you start to uncover your own mindset and where it is because it's like oh <laughs> you know you didn't even realize that the belief actually ran that deep so I started to just do a bit of parts work as well like I mentioned that in the previous episode it's a um like the completion process by Till Swan and you go into the as different aspects of your mind and uncover certain things that you're not aware that are there you know the things that you kind of push away and avoid and run from so I've been trying to do that as well to uncover these beliefs because I'm determined to get to the root of this and be able to change it and honestly now that I've done it like it literally feels like I've just transformed my life so I thought it was a really important thing to talk about because it's just so powerful and you know we're all trying to elevate together so yeah what was I saying <laughs> um so I was uncovering the beliefs and it came to the fact that like you need to burn yourself out you need to work hard and all of this kind of stuff and then I really wanted to figure out how the hell to change this because in reality self-care is most important but oftentimes we don't prioritize that because we feel like guilty for doing that or we feel like it pushes our success further away and further into the future if you take any time off like then you're not putting action into what you want so then you're not going to get it and it's going to take longer you know that was my mentality for literally so many years and I never realized that it was that or that it was that toxic <laughs> So then I was watching a um a Till Swan workshop like the the ones where she does it like live and it's a uh, with an audience and everything and they get up on stage and they ask her questions and this guy got up on stage and he asked her about the fact that he had just quit his job and he didn't have any future plans like he had nothing lined up and he was really scared about it but he felt like it was just necessary he needed to just quit his job and just see what happens kind of thing and he wanted her opinion on it and she was delving into his mind with him and trying to find his beliefs around this and she got to a belief that literally struck so hard with me and I was like what the actual fuck when it comes to um our minds creating our reality and she said like um she told him that he doesn't actually believe that that's true that our mind creates our reality and I was sitting there thinking like okay <laughs> he doesn't believe that even though he keeps saying that he believes that and he thinks he believes that but she was like you don't believe that because she could tell by his body language and the way he um reacted when he was saying the words and then she like delved a little bit deeper and uncovered the fact that um he's scared to believe that because if it means that our um, our mind does create our reality then what happens if it really does and then we still fail and when she said that, I was like, oh, because <laughs> that's so true. And I think that's why I hadn't really fully internalized that concept into my own life. Because what happens if, okay, say it is true and we really do create our own reality with our minds, then what happens if you try your absolute hardest to create it how you want it because our mind creates our reality and then we still fail and we still don't achieve what we want? And I was like, oh, <laughs> that could be why I didn't want to, like, utilise that kind of concept and actually do the work to then change my beliefs, you know what I mean? So I had that first revelation, because really when you un understand all of these things, like the first step in order to change something is to become aware of it. So I was becoming aware of all of these different beliefs that I held and why, like the possibilities of why, and now I can then take that and work towards changing it to what I do want it to be, you know? So I thought I would share that revelation, that little bit with you, because, like, that just blew my mind for a second, that maybe that is why a lot of us choose not to, um, not to integrate that truth of being, like, taking accountability for the fact that we do actually create our own reality, and that it's about a vibrational alignment, and not about hard work, and now when I think about it that's actually so simple that kind of blows my mind but I didn't internalize what that meant 
and how I can then be proactive in that of choosing my vibration you know because I already have a video about how to choose your home base frequency and all of this kind of stuff and how to raise your frequency like I already have these videos because I already understood the concept but it never occurred to me how like how fundamental that part is in creating our reality if that makes sense I never realized that that's literally it because oftentimes some of this like spiritual teachings and stuff people don't tend to break it down in simplified ways they like to keep it vague keep it confusing so that you feel like you constantly need them you need that teacher you need to keep going back to them for this amazing knowledge that you don't know and they got unaware of you know when in reality if they were just to break it down properly in simple terms it would be so easy to grasp and then you can easily integrate it into your life you know like literally how you create your reality is through your vibration that's it and what is your vibration? Your emotions. How do emotions get triggered in the body and in your whole energetic field? Through your thoughts. That's literally it. <laughs> like, that's it. That's how you create your reality. And obviously, thoughts come and go. So, like, you can't control which ones come up or how often they come up or whatever. That kind of thing. But you can choose which ones you hang on to, which ones you allow to spiral, which ones you believe, you can choose those, and you can consciously create thoughts, like affirmations, that's exactly what you're doing, you're just choosing to think certain ones over and over again, literally by speaking them, or thinking them, but obviously other thoughts are still going to pop in your head without your control, so it's not like we need to just control all of our thoughts and become this like perfect being that can just you know control everything but it is something that's so simple when you break it down like that it's like okay if you want to manifest abundance you need to feel abundant like that's it <laughs> and I realized that all my goals were like doing what I love you know like making my own career path where I'm self-sufficient and I don't need to work for somebody else all of these kind of things and in order to be on vibrational alignment with that kind of career self-care actually needs to be important because how are you gonna choose your vibration if you don't take care of yourself you know if all of the things that we seem to want are at a high vibration like when you think about it money that's kind of a high vibration like all of the things that we actually want when we want to feel love like that's the ultimate vibration you know we want to feel joy we want to feel happy we want to feel all of these good things but they're a high vibration so that means if you want to feel them you want to attract experiences that trigger that emotion you need to already be feeling it because you attract what you're feeling you attract your vibration <laughs> so I just realized that like I'm putting off the one thing that will actually get me there the one thing that will actually attract me and another thing that Till also said is that your higher self is already in alignment with everything that you want like they're already vibrationally a match to everything that you want but you need to get yourself because your physical vessel is it's not separate from your higher self, but obviously your higher self is not in a physical vessel. It's completely outside of space and time. So you need to get your vessel into alignment with those things that your higher self is already in alignment with. So it's not something that's separate from you because your higher self is not separate from you, you know? So I hope this is making sense. But like you can literally get yourself in alignment with everything that you want by paying attention to how you feel every day. And that is a self-care act. Um, oftentimes we're in survival mode so we're not able to sit down and tune into ourselves and see how we're feeling and see why we're feeling that way and like when a trigger happens when somebody pisses you off or something negative happens oftentimes we're not then just gonna take five minutes to sit with that feeling and understand why it's coming up you know we tend to just kind of push it to the side and carry on with what we need to do or we get in an argument and neither person pays attention to why they're annoyed in the first place and why they're triggered nobody just takes a minute and slows down we're always in a rush we're always wanting to get to the next thing and like any kind of emotion that comes up is almost like an inconvenience and it gets in the way but that's literally how you create your reality is through your emotions it's through your thoughts because your thoughts as if it's a fight your thoughts <laughs> because that's literally 
that is your frequency that is what determines your frequency you know so yeah I kind of had this revelation and then I was like oh that means that every day I should actually put self-care first I should actually be sitting with myself doing energy work doing visualizations where I ground myself into the earth I ground myself and then connect also with my higher self like those practices those spiritual practices are key and are so important and I've been doing them all this week and since I started my mind's been clearer, I've been calmer, I feel like I'm way more focused and present in the moment because I'm not, there's not all of these weird emotions all trying to come up at once that I'm not dealing with and I'm just trying to like push to the back of my mind. I've already dealt with them, they've released. So I'm cool, like there's nothing lingering so I can actually be present in the moment fully with whatever it is that I'm doing each day, you know? And it's literally transformed my life and I didn't realise how much it would or the fact that it was necessary to do <laughs> which is kind of funny really when I think about it but I guess we're so used to being in survival mode that we don't realize that the thing that's actually holding us back is our mentality towards being in survival mode you know and that doesn't mean that we don't need to work hard that doesn't mean that everything will just fall into our lap miraculously because if something's not meant for you then it's not going to come to you no matter how much magic or energetic focus or whatever you want to call the phrase no matter how much of that you do no matter how much you try if it's not meant for you it's not going to come to you so there is that <laughs> But at the same time, you can use your will, you can use your focus, you can use your intent, you can use your energy to attract you or put you in alignment with all of the things that you want because there's infinite timelines, you know, there's infinite possibilities that exist and you can get yourself to the one that you want, but you just need to focus on your emotions because how does it feel to have the thing you, that you want, you know? Like I realised I've held a vision for my dream house and my dream lifestyle for years but for some reason I felt like I needed to be in that place like in that dream house before I can put that lifestyle into practice like I felt like that that lifestyle was for su such successful people that I couldn't possibly do it now when I'm not successful you know like I'm not where I want to be so how can I how can I eat healthily and work out and feel good doing it when I'm not where I want to be? And I realised like, hang on a second, if I want to attract that and it's based on vibrational alignment, then how would I feel in that? Well, I, I want to wake up feeling good for no reason at all. I just want to wake up feeling good. Like there doesn't need to be a reason why I feel good. I just want to wake up and actually feel good because it feels good and I like what feeling good feels like, you know? So I was thinking, okay, so if I want that and I want to align with that, then that means that I already need to feel that. Even though I'm not where I want to be, I still need to feel like I am. If that makes sense, I was like, oh, so that means I need to be doing those things now to get me to feel like that. So then when I get where I want to be, I'll continue doing those things that get me to feel like that. And then I'll keep on attracting more and more and more of those things. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like I feel like I'm rambling so much, but it was just a huge revelation for me. So now I started implementing all of the habits I mean, obviously it's a gradual thing, but I've started implementing all of the habits that are in my dream lifestyle. So like waking up and doing um, visualization and doing, um, what's it called? Like energy work where you literally visualize light, being a light being, visualize your aura and all of these kind of habit habits, all of these techniques. So I've been doing that and then I will go and work out. I'll do a bit of yoga and I'll do my vocal exercises and stuff like, all of these things that I saw in my dream life that I'm nowhere near kind of thing, I decided to just become it and just do it. And now I'm literally living it. So it's not separate from me. It's not far away. It's not in the future. It's literally here because I'm doing it right now. <laughs> even though I'm not in the house that I want, even though I'm not like exactly where I want to be and everything, but I'm still feeling how I want to feel, I'm still feeling good, I'm still feeling as if I was there, I'm still feeling um, 
like I'm still tuning into myself, you know, and choosing how I want to feel. So it's like we don't need to put our happiness and everything that we want, we don't need to put that in the future because there are things that you can actually do right now that will not only get you there even faster, but that will help you feel like you're already there, that will help you feel just as good as if you were there, you know? So yeah, I know, I just had huge revelations and it's kind of changing my life. <laughs> And that's also way more important than working hard. Like, I may have less hours in the day to work hard because I'm spending more time on things like working out and eating right and all of that kind of stuff. But then when I am working, I'm way more productive because I'm more focused. So, like, I'm able to sit there and actually utilise the time that I am working on those things, you know, rather than kind of being there but half arsing it or feeling fed up and stuff because I haven't eaten and I haven't cleared my mind or my emotions so I'm just sitting there all like agitated and frustrated you know so it definitely does actually kind of make you step outside of time it kind of makes you step outside of like there being deadlines and limits and it doesn't matter what time you get something done because the point is is that you're there and you're focused when you are there when you are present like you're literally there in it and you're present in the moment so you're achieving way more than before and when you weren't actually focused or present you know so I just think that this is a really important thing when it comes to creating what you want is it really is about getting on vibrational alignment which Obviously, it can be hard to do when you're nowhere near what you want to do or nowhere near where you want to be or whatever. Like, obviously, it's not easy. But when you think about that's all it takes, literally, because then opportunities come to you, things just come out of nowhere kind of thing. Like, it looks like they come out of nowhere, but they really do because you're in vibrational alignment. So it's just a key thing that we need to do, I think. <laughs> and once you internalize that and then you start putting it into practice it's no longer just knowledge and information that you have in your head it actually becomes wisdom because it's applied knowledge you know you put it into action so yes I hope this episode was helpful and I will probably make more videos on it as I continue on this path because I'm only like I'm not that far into creating these new routines and I know that we fall off and then we get back up and we get back on it so as I go you know it's a lifelong journey I'm sure I will make more videos talking about falling off and getting back on it <laughs> but it's just key once you understand that it's vibrational alignment it doesn't matter how low you fall you know that you can equally get back up as high you know so it's not self-punishment either. It's just about taking accountability for the fact that you need to be still and present with your emotions. Like, that's the number one key and that's the one thing that we don't do when we're in survival mode. So I hope you are all doing well and especially in the time that we're in right now with this crazy situation, like, it's so important to pay attention to our vibration honestly like because so many of us have been falling into fear and stuff and that is not the kind of vibration that you want to be in if we create our reality you know so it's definitely key to tune into your emotions and shift yourself to where you want to be but also acknowledge and validate how you already are in each moment the negatives that come up it's okay to actually be with them and feel them and acknowledge them you don't have to push them to the side so Yes, I hope this episode was helpful and I will see you next week. Have the best, best day. And also this merch, this is from my merch collection, Don't Need No Half Love. It's from my, um, what's it called? <laughs> the word just escaped me. It's from my song called Magic. So I do have some still available. If anyone is interested, the links are in the description. And yeah, my new song came out as well. So I hope that you love it and I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Make sure that you look after yourself. Self-care is most important. See you in the next video. Bye. Oh, yeah, I think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cool and in that white tea. Oh, yeah, I think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cool and in that white tea. Oh, yeah, I think you might. I'm the thing you like, be my range all white Oh, yeah, I think you might I'm the thing you like, be my range all white